Grammy-nominated singer, songwriter, and producer Kem has captivated audiences with his smooth and soulful sound. Born and raised in Detroit, Kem's love for music began at an early age, and he has since gone on to release multiple albums that have garnered critical acclaim and commercial success. But behind the music lies a powerful personal story of struggle, redemption, and faith, which Kem has now shared with the world in his new autobiography, Share My Life, A Journey of Love, Faith and Redemption. Joining us now is Kem. Thank you so much for being here with us tonight. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. This is exciting. Yeah. We were just talking about projects like these. It's not easy to come together and, and just put it all in a book. What was that process like for you? Um, we've been writing the book, Share My Life, for probably what seems to be my lifetime, right? Uh, we started before the pandemic. Um, David Ritz has been a good friend to me over the years, and uh, he was the perfect partner to, to collaborate on telling my story. Yeah. You've been through so much. Yeah. yeah. I mean, ups and downs. Share My Life here covers a wide range of topics, including your childhood, your struggles with addiction, yeah. and your journey to success as a musician. How important was it for you to share not only your career highlights, but yeah. also some of the, the, the downsides? Yeah, people who have been following my career since I signed to the Motown label are not strangers to me sharing bits and pieces of, of my story. I talk about my struggles with addiction and homelessness and, and, and depression. Um, but the book was the perfect vehicle to expound on those topics. And I know that my life has great, great healing and transformation has taken place in my life because somebody shared their story with me, you know? So I feel like I would like the opportunity to, to do the same for someone else, mm -hmm. yeah. One of the central themes of your of this book is love, yeah. both in your personal life and in your music. And it seems like you are now living some of your yeah. music. Yeah. Uh, you write, the more we learn to truly give and receive love, the more we grow. How has your understanding of love changed over the years? Love is about relationship, of course. Life is about relationship. And even in this ironic that I've been writing love songs with, for what seems to be most of my life, and I'm only now experiencing the love that I've been, been writing about with my, my beautiful wife, Erica. And uh, it's the most real, true relationship is the most the most rewarding and the most challenging thing that I've ever done, you know? And uh, so I'm, 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 I'm really enjoying the season of my life. So in your faith is also an important part of your story. How, can you tell us more about how your spirituality has influenced your life and your music? My faith is the cornerstone of everything in my life. It's, it's my foundation. I, um, I found myself sleeping outside on July 23rd of 1990, struggling with addiction. That was the day of my last drink, July 23rd of 1990. And, uh, and I surrendered. I gave up on the idea that I was able to solve my problem, my addiction issue on my own, and I, and I asked for help. And uh, there's an adage I love that says, when the student is ready, the teacher appears. And uh, I made room for, for God to come in my life and, and help me transform my life. And it's the foundation I sit upon today. When, when people read this book, what do you want them to walk away with? What message? I want people to know that there is a way out, that there is a way through whatever your darkness is, whatever your, your issues are. The only, the only way out is through. I want people to know that uh, the best is yet to come. Yeah. And for you, this Friday is a big day. You'll, yeah. You're celebrating 20 years with Motown. First yeah. of all, how does that feel that it's been 20 years and, and you've had that stability in your life for so long? It's really incredible. To not have, you know, I haven't had, I haven't had a real job in two, in two decades, right? Jokingly, this is this is very serious work, but but at the same time, I'm very grateful to be signed to the same label for my entire career and to have a career in the music business in this day and age, you know, for 20 years, it's a it's a pretty big deal. It is, and that says a lot about you and your yeah, talent. Yeah. So this Friday, you have uh, a release coming. Uh, you'll be releasing Anniversary, the live album, yeah, album, and heading on your Soul to Soul tour this coming Friday. What can fans expect from this new album and from the tour? I'm on the road with uh, my friends, Music Soul Child, 
and Lettucey. Oh, that's all um, oh, that's good. So we are, you know, <laughs> right? This is not just a show, it's, it's an experience, you know? And, uh, and the live album anniversary is a culmination of my 20 years in the business. And I'm really, really excited that people actually get to have the live Kim experience at their fingertips. I want you to come to the show, but <laughs> you, have the, you have the live experience yeah. at your fingertips. Yeah, but. all right, Ken, thank you so much for being here. Looking forward to this and, and your album as well. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Share My Life, A Journey of Love, Faith, and Redemption is now available to purchase wherever books are sold. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.